Welcome to 40 Days of Prayer. Praying for Deliverance Mark 9, 14, 29, Week 2, Day 7. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt powerless to make something happen yet were unsure of the reason why? Today, in our passage of Scripture, we find the disciples confused. They had been following Jesus for some time and had seen God use them to set people free. Yet in today's story, they were powerless to cast out demons. Once Jesus set the boy free, the disciples privately asked Jesus why they were powerless. He tells them, this kind can come out only by prayer, Mark 9 verse 29. Jesus is making a connection between our spiritual authority and prayer. He is telling his disciples that a consistent life of prayer is necessary. Did you notice that Jesus didn't stop and pray before he cast out the demon? But he did pray consistently. His life was marked by prayer. Over and over in scripture we read of Jesus going away to pray. The prayer that Jesus is talking about is not when you find yourself in a position of need, but before you have the need. It's a prayer that builds your faith muscles and produces greater intimacy with Jesus. Remember that our positional authority comes from our position as children of God who are seated with Christ in the heavenly realm, but our practical authority comes through prayer. When we fast and pray, our dependence transfers from one of depending on our own abilities to depending on the all-sustaining power and presence of Jesus. Reflection Prayer Jesus we come to you desperate to know you and to become more like you. Would you teach us how to live a life of consistent prayer? May we be known as people who regularly get away to be with our Father, so much so that we carry the aroma of Christ. And when people see us, let them see you. Help us to carry your presence well as we walk with you through our daily lives, loving and serving those you put before us. In Jesus' name, Amen. By Stacy Douglas Stacy currently serves alongside her husband in his role as District Superintendent of the Central Pacific District of the CNMA. She is also a nurse on a med-slash-SURG floor. She is privileged to work at a Christian hospital in California that allows her to be both nurse and pastor. Let's go deeper. Unwavering Faith. Lessons on Prayer and Belief from Mark 9 verses 14 to 29. 1. Introduction. Mark 9 verses 14 to 15. When they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. Mark 9 verses 14 to 15 sets the scene where Jesus encounters a crowd and his disciples embroiled in a dispute, leading to a desperate father seeking Jesus' help for his demon-possessed son. 2. The Power of Belief Mark 9 verse 23, If you can, said Jesus. Everything is possible for one who believes. Mark 9 verse 24. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Mark 9 verse 23 emphasizes Jesus' challenge to the father's faith, declaring that everything is possible for one who believes, to which the father responds in Mark 9 verse 24, acknowledging his belief but also his need for help to overcome his doubt. 3. The Authority of Prayer. Mark 9 verse 25. When Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Mark 9 verse 25 illustrates Jesus rebuking the impure spirit and commanding it to leave the boy, demonstrating the authority of prayer in confronting spiritual challenges. 4. Understanding Spiritual Warfare Mark 9 verse 28 After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? Mark 9 verse 29. He replied, This kind can come out only by prayer. Mark 9 verses 28 to 29 reveals the disciples' confusion about their inability to cast out the demon, to which Jesus responds that this kind can come out only by prayer, highlighting the necessity of prayer in spiritual warfare. 5. Application to our lives. Mark 9 verse 23. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Mark 9 verse 24. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Mark 9 verses 23 to 24 reiterates Jesus' emphasis on belief, encouraging us to deepen our faith and trust in him, acknowledging our doubts while seeking his help to overcome them. In Mark 9 verses 14 to 29, the narrative of Jesus healing a demon-possessed boy underscores the power of unwavering belief, the authority of prayer in confronting spiritual challenges and the necessity of overcoming doubt through reliance on Jesus, ultimately illustrating the transformative impact of faith and prayer in the face of adversity.